Welcome to Sensei. Today we are going to talk about connecting your MPC device, whether it be a one, a live, live two, uh, etc., um, to your software running the Akai Beat software. So basically, what we want to do is we want to start with our USB cable. Hopefully, you can see that. You're going to take the square connector here, and you're going to get in to the uh, MIDI port or the uh, USB connector on the back. Take the other cable and we're going to connect it into our laptop. All right. Once we made that physical connection, we want to go ahead and uh, launch our software. Um, while that's going and booting up, um, it's asking if I want to update. I'll tell it to remind me later. So you can kind of ignore this. Uh, there's just some messages pertaining to some software firmware updates. Um, once this is loaded and we're connected, we can go ahead and turn on our Akai. And uh, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're booting up as we normally would in stand up standalone mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create an empty project once this boots up. Um, I'm not going to actually do anything in the project. Um, just basically go to that, which you'll see in a moment. So right here, hitting empty project. We're now gonna go to the menu button here, which takes us to the home screen. And this icon up here, which is, uh, looks like a little computer ICU chip, the MPC, we're gonna click on that. And it's asking us, are you sure you wanna enter into the controller mode? Um, yes, we do, so we're gonna hit controller mode. It's now searching and trying to make a connection. So it's saying looking for computer, it's it's communicating with it. And we now have a connection. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this window so you can see. And if we were to focus on, say this drum pad here, I don't know if you'll be able to see with the lighting, but as I tap here, you should be able to see it flashing. If I go to another one. So, Basically, it is now communicating and acting as a controller. So that's the, the main process. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the reverse now uh, to disable that. So if I am you know, want to go back into my standalone mode, uh, I can go ahead and uh, close my software. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and hit standalone mode here. And it's going to be a little warning. It's going to say, are you sure you've disconnected any hard drives or things attached um, to it that could be corrupted if they're not? And in my case, I have. So I'm going to say yes. Um, if you haven't, you should make sure you do that beforehand so you don't lose any data. So double check on that. I don't want, I don't want to get blamed for losing any of your data. Um, but once you've done what it says here, and you've safely ejected the drives attached to your MPC Live MK2 from your computer, then go ahead and proceed by hitting yes. And at this point, um, it should put us back into the standalone mode. And we're back to basically the boot up standalone screen. And at this point, I can open up a pre-existing project or create a new one, whatever I like to do. Um, so that pretty much concludes. Um, oh, I would like to say, I, I never, I always forget to say this, but please, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot, uh, especially as we're in the earlier stages. Um, I would love your feedback, um, any suggestions, anything you'd like to have me discuss, whether it be hardware, um, software, um, you know, if you'd like to know um, whether you should get a certain device versus another, um, you know, all those types of things or um, anything specific, please, please do ask. But uh, yeah, if you can just uh, click, click the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you and Sensei out. Shut down.